Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today, I'm going to go over the steps to make the money making process very easy and simple, and the process that I use to make money in game. In my comments section, I get asked all the time how I get so much money or how I go about making money. And at the time I'm recording this video, I have about $71 million in game. And I'm going to tell you guys, I never actually feel like I'm grinding for money when I play GTA Online. So, I make my money with the cocaine and meth lab biker businesses, as well as the bunker. If you guys didn't know, the cocaine and meth lab businesses are the most profitable of all the biker businesses, as the payouts for cell missions are the highest from those two places. And the bunker is also very profitable. What all these three businesses have in common is that they are all passive income, meaning they build up product while I can go around doing whatever I want in the game. So the routine for me when I get online is to load into my office, get my jetpack, and then fly to each of my businesses and buy supplies for them so they are set for that play session. You are always going to want to buy supplies because even if you don't do any missions to get your money back, you will still make profit and the resupply missions can be very annoying and time consuming. Remember, the idea is to make money very easily. We don't want to have to mess with those annoying resupply missions, especially in public lobbies. One very important thing that will make the game more enjoyable overall is to become a part of a community that will help you in the game. GTA Online is a million times more fun when you're playing with friends and having a good time, and it allows you to make money that much easier. I'm not saying it's not possible to make a lot of money solo, but trust me, you'll have a much better time if you are in a crew with like-minded people. If you are on Xbox, you can request to join my crew in the description. A lot of the time we will have full public crew lobbies and we are always willing to help each other out with the cell missions. And if you're on PS4 looking for a community, I recommend my friend The Professional. He helps out his subscribers a lot and he's just a really nice guy, so if you want to check out his channel, I'll have a link in the description because he makes very detailed money guides. This video is more of a general money guide on what I do specifically, but there are a lot more ways you can make money with the biker businesses that I don't talk about in this video. So now let's pretend all of your businesses are full on product and you need to sell. I highly recommend going into a free aim lobby because they are much calmer. In free aim, I'd say I get obliterated like 10% of the time compared to an auto aim where I get obliterated like 70% of the time when I'm in public lobbies. For whatever reason, the people in free aim lobbies are much less aggressive, which is good for you wanting to sell successfully. And next is where being in a community comes into play. A lot of the time when you find lobbies, you will get placed into a lobby with lots of crew members that will help you out and protect you. I know every time that I hop on and join, I always end up in a lobby with a lot of my crew members, and even though I'm the leader of my crew, it's not going to matter if you're just a normal member or not. The way the game's matchmaking algorithm is set up is that it's made to find sessions with crew and friends first. You're going to want to sell in big public lobbies of, I'd say, 18 or more players. I know a lot of you guys may disagree, but the bonus that you get is well worth it. You get 1% more profit for each player in the lobby. And if you sell with 20 players in the lobby, that's 20% more profit for you. And if your product does happen to get blown up by a griefer, all you have to do is close your application and you will only lose a small percentage of the product instead of the whole thing, so there's really no risk involved at all. And like I said, you'll have crew members helping you out too, so the chances of you getting blown up will be very slim. My next tip to making easy money in GTA Online is to take advantage of the event weeks. The double money bunker weeks are insanely good for making money, as are the double money biker cell mission weeks. I think with this double money biker cell mission event alone, I probably made about $9 million. And that's just for me playing the game and buying supplies and then selling them in populated lobbies. So always make sure you take advantage of those. This next tip can actually be applied to real life as well as in the game, and that is to avoid impulse buys at all costs. You aren't meant to own every single car in the entire game. You want to make sure that you're always spending your money wisely and saving up a good majority of it. To be honest, I can't even remember the last time I purchased a supercar or any regular car in general in GTA Online. I know the cars from the last update all sucked majorly in performance because of the ridiculous handling flags. You have to make sure that at all times you have enough money to buy supplies from all of your businesses in order to keep the money coming. Just like in real life, you wouldn't buy a new car or a $20 skin that would cause you not to be able to pay your bills. Basically, just reduce the amount of unnecessary expenses. Things like explosive ammo and insurance fees all add up after a while. Really, you should never have to buy explosive ammo because you could pick up the grenade launcher ammo, RPG ammo, and grenades in your bunker, homing launcher ammo in your hangar, and sticky bombs in your facility. Spamming explosives and constantly using ghost organization will cost you a lot of money in the long run. Anyways guys, that is going to be all for this video. I hope I was able to help some of the people who were asking me how I make my money in the comments section. 
I know I'm probably known more for my PvP videos, but I do enjoy making money and helping people out as well. And I do get this question quite a lot, so I thought I would explain my methods to everyone. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. I'll have a link to my friend The Professionals channel in the description if you guys want to see in-depth money guides. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.